Right, welcome back everybody to episode 5 of Hadrian's Wall. After a well-deserved sleep in a B&B, we woke up at a reasonable time, dried our clothes so they were nice and warm for the day ahead of us, and all that was left to do was pack up and get ready. Got our wine in here, our Sauvignon Blanc. So I hope you guys and gals enjoy the video. Remember to slap that subscribe button. If you've not seen the episodes prior to this, I'll leave a card in the top right of the corner right now. And make sure to watch those first. Enjoy. Hiya. Hiya. Okay. Yeah, we are. <laughs> How far are you going today? Uh, about 15 miles sort of thing. Yeah. Got 15 miles left. Yeah. How did I say? Yeah, and you too, mate. All the rest. Yeah, and you. Good luck. Thanks to the wind, a lot of this footage isn't actually salvageable because the wind is just too loud. But there's not much to see really, it's mainly everything that you see here, just like a nice open grassland area. It's pretty nice to walk through. You're right. Hiya. This actually looks cool. Oh, it looks like a bar. Oh no, it doesn't. What even it? Oh, it looks like a religious room. Why is there someone naked? If it was in AD, this was before Christianity. That's what we've got to remember. This structure is a Roman temple erected around 200 AD and destroyed about 150 years later. So this is paganism, this religion. This is the religion that they used to celebrate, they used to worship in this temple. Yeah, I'm gonna go have a look. <laughs> oh, there's money in it. That's cool. That That's a cool. cool thing to leave with. Do you know what I find cool actually about this? What? Is you can see how people from all around the world have come here. You've got two cents. Mm -hmm. Um, few cents. Euro. Twenty cents. Oh, is yeah. this a franc? That's a franc. This is my favourite part of the war so far, I, I reckon. I agree, because I'm... I think religious and spiritual and astronomical stuff of ancient times is probably the most interesting. Yeah. Um, like, I think the fighting part is cool, but it's so normalised now where you hear about it too much. Yeah. That's all you think about it when you think about stuff like this. Yeah. It's got these awesome rocks on the left. Do you reckon these are just like natural? Because they don't look too natural. Who knows? I, I have no idea. It's weird how the world works with rocks and... They, they could be natural. Maybe they dragged them here and then didn't use them. Yeah. Imagine dragging all these rocks here and thinking, oh, we don't actually need these. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, crap. Imagine how heavy they all were. Yeah. So we've walked far enough, so we thought we'd start on the wine. There's not much. We Obviously, we won't drink it all in one. We'll just sort of have sips oh. here and there. <laughs> it's really nice wine as well, and I don't like wine. It is really, really good wine. Yeah. So our destination um, to get over off this field it's just over there but there's, uh, there's a lot of cows um there's not much hadrian's wall here anymore don't know if we'll see any more to be honest we might see a little bit more along the way but um we're just sort of worried these cows don't see humans as often so they're more frightened of us and ideally we want to avoid anything like that dude that that sign there means castle does it yeah Oh, do we go and check it out? We did just say that we shouldn't get held up. <laughs> Let's go have a little look. I reckon he's only around the corner. Can do. Maybe there's a cafe up here as well, actually. Yeah, I reckon there probably is. Yeah, all right. I'm I'm a lot more happy about this now. <laughs> So it's nine pound for it. Which if we didn't have so many miles ahead of us, maybe we'd have looked at it, but it really weren't an option today. Gonna get some tea at least, or something, a snack. I don't mind a little cup of tea. Yeah. Tea nice. I think I'm gonna get some food. Hiya. So not only did they have a good variety of food options, a lot of their food was also well sourced and sustainable, which was a nice treat because we don't feel guilty for eating it. That's 1930 Yep. Thank you so much. This is a nice little stop. Yeah, lovely. Well deserved one. This sandwich is lovely. I've got tuna and cucumber in a nice poppy seed roll, Victoria sponge cake and a Diet Coke. I usually have full fat but they didn't have that unfortunately. 
probably because of Jamie Oliver and his sugar tax. Perfect, perfect straps. It was the most amazing bench for it to uh, put on your backpack, adjust like your straps. Just, my, my rucksack feels light because of my straps. Because yeah, they're, because they're right. Yeah. I feel like they're just going to wriggle down though. Because oh, our waists aren't large enough for the waist straps. We've got them to their very tightest, but we are some slim boys. We're just sort of walking past these houses and they look like Minecraft houses. I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you put on that HD realistic Minecraft texture pack, you can just see like the like shelter porchy bit of the house. It's just like, it's literally like a Minecraft house. So we just saw a sign saying Newcastle is 21 miles away. So we've got a little bit further than that to go. But not too much. Oh, look at the river over there yeah. on the other side. These are the sort of things that really just look incredible. A waterfall under a tree, under a fallen tree, and another tree with heavily exposed roots. That is so cool. I think that's kind of what flows under a fence down there. insane after walking on the roads for like probably two miles we're finally off them the roads just there but we're finally off the road into this nice woodland which actually looks incredible doesn't this look cool yeah whoa actually coming up to it looks really good yeah for sure Just over there we have hit another part of Hadrian's Wall, which we weren't really expecting, but I guess we thought we were gonna see little parts of it here, here and there, which we have. This looks awesome. Going up the final stretch of this hill and a reward looks like a really nice forest, a nice colorful forest. Yeah, really colorful. Yeah, with quite a bit of sunlight as well. Little change of scenery. Does you the world of good. That's like we're approaching a house or something. Yeah. The thing from the floor is really nice. Yeah. We're sort of like yellowish in colour. Yeah. It's actually a really awesome little area. So it's a pretty chill day today. We're gonna to fit in the 15 miles, hopefully. Probably even a little bit further. Just got some silver birch of this for a fire for tomorrow. So we can really, we'll probably only do four hours of walking for tomorrow. Find somewhere to sort of chill out, have a fire, have a relaxing day. Cause we, we really, for tomorrow, like say if we put in 50 miles in, in, in for today, we, can't, we genuinely can't do a lot tomorrow because we, we need to camp outside Newcastle. We can't camp in Newcastle. We will get mugged. Okay, we might not, but you know, it's, it's a risk with a city. We're camping in the middle of a city. We need to be careful. Um, so nine miles is the calculated um, time for tomorrow. And... And I think we got 11 miles for Newcastle and then it's finished. We're gonna wake up 6 a.m. for the Newcastle day, get through it in one day and get home. And the journey home is gonna be easier than the journey here, which is such a good thing to hear. Um, really, there's nothing bad coming up for the next couple of days and the rest of this, this day. There's nothing bad coming up at all. Everything is just looking amazing, honestly. This has been an amazing experience. Had its hard points, but we got through them. And yeah, super happy with ourselves. Look at that view over there, actually. Oh, that's sick. Pretty cool. 
So we're supposed to be walking through this field here. Um, when we entered just up there, the cows started looking at us and walking over. And I know, like we've avoided cows where we can pretty much. And you guys are probably thinking, why on earth are you doing that? They're just cows. But the ones here, honestly, they ain't, they, yeah, they aren't to be messed with really. Um, they don't seem afraid to run after you and I can't be dealing with that. So we're gonna jump over the wall in a moment after this hill coming up where they won't see us and we can get back on, on the track. Oh, landslide. It's not electric, is it? It sounds electric. If your hands were on it and it was electric, that would be the most funniest thing. Oh, they're like red mushrooms. Yeah. Let me get a, a video of them. Won't be long. Look at these mushrooms. Bright red. So cool. We're just coming across the coolest mushrooms today. These ones are like purple, almost. There's quite a few of them. That one there's pretty nice. It looks like, it just looks strange. Mm. Do you know what sort of mushrooms they are? No. No, no clue. Pretty cool. Going through this little hilly area. The hills aren't a problem, but um, because there's so many hills and it's hard to see where the pathway is, because there kind of isn't one. So for our final destination, we have gone off trail because of that field and those hills, which we thought would happen. Um, that sheep is heavily pregnant. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we went off trail, um, but we are heading in the right direction, we know. East Wall House, which, which is where we're heading, is just up this road, but quite far. We're not exactly on trail, but we're going the right way, so it doesn't really matter too much. Never mind, we did go the right way. Hadrian's Wall Path, that's obviously going the opposite way. There's another acorn sign up here, which gives us an arrow to go on the road, like we suspected. So we got good bearings about ourselves. A real good sense of direction so we are one mile away from our destination um, which is absolutely amazing and we just saw a sign saying Newcastle is 14 miles away obviously we've got to go to like the other end of Newcastle not like the complete other end I don't think just sort of like the other side of it so we've got a bit further than that to go but it's really encouraging that we're almost there you know sort of on like the last few hurdles hello Oh, you want a proper pat? Oh, you love it. <laughs> oh, this is such a nice horse. Yeah, it's beautiful. I've never met one this nice. Hello. <laughs> What's this? Nicest horse you've ever met, nicest Victoria. They're Swamp really powerful when they nicest sort of push their face into you. In. Nicest sheep I've ever seen. These, cool, <laughs> these sheep are cool, they're like black and white. Hello. Yeah. Can I give you a stroke too? Imagine. Oh, wow. Oh, what? Hello. This Who's... is weird. <laughs> Why am I scared of this? Let's just walk on. Oi, what are you doing? They're coming, they're us? coming. Hello. On the walk it's all right, us. we're going. <laughs> don't don't worry about us, honestly. We're, we're, we're chill. Do you want to come to Newcastle? No. <laughs> Bit books. Then when you nibble in on my coat, yeah, that's what I'm kind of worried about. Should we just get a move on? Yeah, we need to get there. Mate, these sheep are cool. Yeah, they're all like... They're all really... They're different the, coloured. Yeah, and then they're so... Look at this one laying down. Whoa, I didn't even see that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just alright. Oh, hello. Like, what are you doing? These are the yeah, chillest yeah. sheep I've seen, man. All of the other ones have ran from us. I got to stroke that one. Bye bye, sheep. So, we got our water refilled at some lovely lady's house. She said there was a pub just up the road and we are here obviously um they've stopped serving food which was a bit of a shame but we got a bowl of chips each because their fries are still on so we got it like just in time 
so yeah, can't complain. We are getting some completely different food, which is great. Something with more flavour and just something to really look forward to. And we get a little rest here before camping. Thank you. Oh, these look lovely. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Will do. What we feel today is um, the worst we like the worst aftermath we have felt since being here my shoulders i can't move them really without it absolutely caning and leo what's your situation I'm just sort of limping around everywhere and waddling it's all in my legs and my feet yeah i've got a little bit um my feet are kind of hurting but not as bad as you probably yeah because <sighs> i so genuinely i can't even pull the tent out of the bag do a bit of yoga you, do, did you want to pull this because we said I do leg stuff, you do arm stuff. Yes. <laughs> so after we pitched up the tent on a stomach full of food, we just added the final touches and got some good well deserved sleep. Right, I hope you guys have enjoyed episode 5 of Hadrian's Wall. If you have enjoyed, slap that like button, really helps me out. And if you'd like to see the next couple, slap that subscribe button too and then you'll be updated on future videos as well um there will be more hikes in the future i'm going to do more environmental things in the future too a whole variety of videos pretty much a lot of outdoorsy things and animal related things so i hope you guys enjoy and wish you guys a happy new year